Hey everybody, it's Minister Lou. Happy Wednesday to you. Today we are reading now the Gospels of John. We are on chapter 14. Mm. And Judas just left to betray Jesus. Jesus just told Simon Peter that he is going to deny him three times. Oh. Things are ramping up, are they not? Sorry, I just get a little excited when it comes to reading the Word of God. Specifically about reading, not about, but reading about Jesus. Yeshua. The Son of God. All right. Let's just jump into John's account of the life of Jesus, shall we? Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. That's a really direct thing. You're saying you believe in God, believe in me too. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you so he's saying there's many mansions in my father's house heaven and if it wasn't that way I'd tell you it wasn't that way I go to prepare a place for you so he's preparing it for us he's getting heaven ready for us and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there ye may also be excuse me, maybe also. So he's saying, I'm going to come again and I'm going to receive you into myself. So where I am, you are. And whether I go, ye know, and the way ye know. So he's saying, and where I go, you'll know where I'm going and you'll know the way. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we not know whether thou goest. How can we know the way? How can we know the way? What are you talking about? We don't know where you're going. We don't know where you're going. I mean, how are we going to know how to get there? He's not understanding them. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So he's saying, no man gets the God to the Father. Unless they're coming by me. They gotta come through me. Because I am that door. I am that way. The path that leads you to him. It is through me. And me alone. Nothing else can help you. No one else. If ye had known me. Ye should have known my father also. And from henceforth. Ye know him. So he's saying. If you know me. You know the Father. From here on, you know the Father because you know me. And have seen him. Not only do we know him, we've seen him. That's what he's saying. You know, you've seen me. You've seen the Father. You know him because of me. You've seen him because of me. Philip saith unto the Lord, Show us the Father and it sufficeth us. He's like, hey, show us the Father. That would make us happy. We'd be glad with that. We, No more questions. We're done. <laughs> Just show us them. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Ooh. I believe, like, this. this is just popping out he's saying that he's God right now it's another time other than the you know what was it John eight fifty eight. verily verily I say unto you before Abraham was I am because that's what the Jews called God is I am Yahweh it's actually more pronounced like the inhale and the exhale motion so it would be the first and last thing you say coming and going and coming in this world and going out of it. 
Have I been so long with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? So he's saying right there, you've seen him through me. Believest thou not that I am the Father? Excuse me. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. He's telling them right there, God's in me. <laughs> He's like, I don't speak these things to myself, but the Father. <coughs> That's big. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. He's saying, believe me, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. We are one together. Or believe for the work's sake, for the things he's done. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. Excuse me, my cat's really close. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So he's like, you know, if you're asking the Father for things in my name, I'll do them. To glorify the Son. Excuse me. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father... And he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. He's talking about the Holy Ghost. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me because I live. Ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. So he's saying, you'll know that I'm in my Father. And then I'm going to be in you. Excuse me. You're going to be in me and I'm going to be in you. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved by, excuse me, lo loved of my Father. And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. So he's saying, if you keep my commandments, you love me and if you love me I love you and you'll be loved by the Father as well Judas saith unto him not Iscariot <laughs> that's a really good distinction there to let us know it's not Judas Iscariot not the betrayer another Judas Lord how is it thou will manifest thyself to us and not unto the world Yes, so how are we going to know, how are we going to see you, but not the world see you? I mean, this doesn't make sense. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. So he's saying that the Father and I will come and live in you. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my saying, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. 
So he's saying, if you don't love him and not keep his word, the word which you hear is not my word. It's the Father who sent me. You know, God sent me, and you're hearing his word. These things I have spoken unto you, being yet present with you. He's saying, I've told you these before. You were here. You heard me say these things. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. So he's saying that the Holy Ghost will bring my memory and the things that I've said directly to you. You will hear them. You will know them through the remembrance. Peace I leave you with. May peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye love me, ye will rejoice, because I said I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. So he's saying you should celebrate, because I'm going to the Father. And I'm going to come again, back to you. And now I have told you before it come to pass that when it comes to pass ye might believe hereafter I will not talk much with you for the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me. The prince of the world is Satan. And he's saying that he's cometh and he came and has nothing in me but that the world may know that I love the Father and as the Father gave me commandment even so I do arise let us go hence that's a lot isn't it that's big that's heavy that's good stuff there Whew. it just I don't know. The feeling I get when I read this is very unexplainable sometimes. But this is awesome. To know that the Father and Jesus live in me and I in them. What could be more comforting? I can't think of anything. I thank you all for taking the time to listen to the life of Christ as I read it aloud to you. Or if you're reading along with me too as well, that's awesome. I'm, that's awesome. Hopefully more we, more of us could get together and read. I'm really, it's, pops in my mind once in a while, but I'm thinking of live streaming, reading the Bible. Maybe we could read live on Twitch or Rumble. I don't want to do YouTube. I just don't like it. Like I upload content to it, but. Nothing happens on YouTube. Not for my kind of content. But God could change all that in an instant. It's all in His time and not mine. I may not like what I see on YouTube with people just coming to it. Like, I don't care about follows, I don't care about subscribes, likes. I just want people to watch the, the videos, to get the message, to hear the word. That's it. God supplies for me plenty in my life that I don't need anything else. The kingdom of heaven's at hand, everyone. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is coming back. He's telling us in His Word, He's coming back. And He's preparing a place for us. And if you're not ready to meet Jesus, if you're still living in sin, it's time to repent of those sins, to turn away from them, and to turn to Christ, to accept Him as our Lord and Savior, to believe on Him that He is the Son of God. Whew. Emmanuel, God among us. It's time to come to understand about His death on that cross for us and His resurrection three days later. 
It's time to come to know who our Heavenly Father is and how much He truly loves you. He don't love your sin. If He loved your sin, we wouldn't have to repent. Jesus wouldn't have had to die on the cross. No. God does not love your sin. He is sinless. He is a perfect being. He hates sin. But He loves you. He wants to have a relationship with you. He wants you to be with Him. But He's not a dictator. He gives us free will to choose Him or to live life separate from Him. And there's a reward and a consequence. If you want to live with Him, you'll live with Him forever. If you want to live without Him, you will be separated from Him for all eternity. And I don't wish that upon no one. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And our Heavenly Father loves you guys. Shalom.